What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be using the Instagram Graph API to get a user's metadata. In order to get a user's metadata, we need to have an Instagram user ID and an access token. In my last video, we got an Instagram user ID, and now we're going to use that Instagram user ID to get my profile information. We're going to set up a web page and recreate our profile. By hitting the endpoint, we get our profile image URL, our username, the number of posts, followers, the people we follow, your name, your biography, and the website URL in your profile. Behind the scenes on the back end, we are hitting this endpoint and I'm passing along my user ID. The fields are what we want to get back for that user ID. In this case, you can specify a long list of things and you will get each of them back in the response. The last thing you need is, of course, your access token. Down here, the raw response has been dumped out in a text area. So you can see here is the array. We have my username, website, name, ID, profile URL, biography, counts, and that's it. Then we made it look pretty up here at the top. Now we can start coding. If you guys don't have the code or haven't been keeping up with this playlist, first go back and watch the videos in this playlist. And a link to my GitHub will be down in the description. Download that, throw it on your server, and let's begin. I'm gonna copy my git Instagram account ID and rename it to business discovery. And we're gonna open that up. So the nice thing about this file here is that from our last video, most of the heavy lifting is done. So all we have to do is update our endpoint and the parameters for that endpoint. The first thing up here is we're including our defines file. This includes things like our endpoint base, our access token, our page ID, and our Instagram account ID. Things that are used on all of the other pages that we have created as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paste our endpoint format right here. So this is the endpoint format for getting the user's metadata. So our endpoint base is followed by our user ID. Then we pass along the fields that we want to get back for that user ID. And that string is right here. We pretty much want to get back all of the things. So we're getting the username, website, name, ID, profile URL, biography, follows, followers count, media count, and like every other endpoint, we pass along our access token. So now we're gonna define our endpoint. And this endpoint is everything up into the question mark. So we have to do endpoint base dot Instagram account ID. And this Instagram account ID is defined in our defines file. And we got this ID in the last video. Now we can specify the parameters for this endpoint. The parameters are everything after the question mark. And so we're going to break each parameter up into its own array key. So fields is going to be this whole thing up until the access token. We're going to paste that in there. and we need to specify a username to pass in there. So I'm gonna put in my username, and now it will get all these fields for my username. We can leave the access token here as is, and again, this is coming from our defines file. Then our endpoint gets built. We got our endpoint base Instagram account ID right up until here question mark and HTTP build query on our Instagram params array. Then we do the curl call, we get a response back, and I'm going to echo that response out here to make sure we got the endpoint right. So I'm just going to print out our response array that we got back from Instagram and then do a die right there. So save that, and then we're going to hit the businessdiscovery.php page. And it looks like we did everything correct, because we got back a correct response. We got back all of the things that we requested in that string. Username, website, name, IDs, profile, picture, and info, and counts on followers and media. Now we want to style that up a little bit, and mark it up with some HTML down here. So we're going to update our title, 
to reflect what this uh, PHP file is doing. And then we're going to need a meta tag here as well so that the emojis actually display correctly. Those emojis are very important. Now let's make sure our response is uh, displaying in the text area correctly and th that we see those emojis. Get rid of our echo print our die statement and refresh our page. There we go. We got our raw response dumped out in this text area now and our emojis are showing up there in our biography. Now we want to style up our raw response data that we got back so it looks pretty. I have echoed out my image, profile picture URL, gave it a width of 50 pixels, border radius of 50%, so we got a nice circle. And then right after that, I displayed out my username and I put a link on it to Instagram to my profile, which is just instagram.com slash your username. Refresh our business discovery page and there's my picture and my username if I click on it takes me to my profile on Instagram. Now we want to get the follows count, follower count, and the media count displaying right under our name. The first thing we're going to display out is our media count. So we put that number in bold and we say posts. And our post did not go below our name. Uh, what did we miss? Oh, we want to make this um, an H3 tag so it stands out a little more. And this needs to be then up and underneath our username. Refresh our page, and there we go. Except I forgot to close my H3 tag. So now that we have the posts displaying out, we want to display the followers count and the following count. First, we're going to go followers, and that is the followers count. Then following, which is follows count. There's our three counts right underneath our username. We are going to want to give some space, though. After the first, we're going to put a margin here. Let's give it 20 pixels. Refresh our page, and now we have our counts displayed right below our username. So under that container that has our image and our counts, along with our username and a link to Instagram, we're going to display out our name, our biography, and our website URL. First thing we're going to display is our name. Up here we displayed our username, but down here we want to display our actual name. After that, we're going to display our biography. And we're going to use the PHP function nl2br. So what this does is preserves the breaking spaces so it doesn't all just display on one line. Next, we're going to display out our website URL. Instagram business discovery website. That is the target, and that is also going to be the displayed URL. So we're going to save that and go back to our businessdiscovery.php page. And it's looking good. Underneath our accounts, we have our actual name displayed. We have our biography and our website URL. And then down here is the raw response. One other thing that is missing is our endpoint. Now we can see our endpoint format that we have used to get all this data back. One final save and refresh. And underneath our styled up profile, we have our endpoint. And that is how we get a user's metadata using the Instagram Graph API. And that's going to wrap up this video. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.